Hi, my name is Samresh. I am the project lead for XML and schema related tools in NetBeans.org. I'm going to walk you over through some of the tools that we have developed uh, for NetBeans 6.0. So let's go check it out. I have a Java application that has couple of schemas and a XML file. XML and schemas are not limited to Java applications only. You can have them in any projects you like. As soon as a schema is selected in the project tab, Navigator gives you a nice outline of the schema. Navigator is a read-only view of the schema. There are three outline views uh, you can choose from. Schema view, design view and XML view. I'm going to change it to the schema view and as you can see, you know, the schema outlines are changing. I'm ch going to change it to the design view and as you can see, you know, it is getting changed in the, in the navigator. Now I'm going to open a new schema file. As you can see, the schema has three views, source, schema and design. By default, the schema opens in the schema view. The source view is a plain text editor. The schema view is a more advanced view. We are going to talk about it later. The design view helps you author schemas by example. In other words, this view is for the novice schema authors who do not know much, neither want to know much about the schema language. If there's a palette, you can drag and drop items from the palette into the canvas. As you can see, I just dropped a element complex type and named it address type. I'm going to create more child elements and add it to the address type. So this will create our address type complex type. So as you can see, you know, it is very easy to drag and drop items from the palette and create schema elements and complex types. And now I'm going to switch to the source view and show you, you know, how the source code is generated behind the scene. As you can see, Address type and name city street are you know, synchronized in the source view as well. Design view doesn't give you a lot of flexibility. If you want more, you can go to schema view. The schema view has two views, column view and tree view. The tree view is more like a Windows Explorer kind of view. The column view is a more advanced view. It's more for the Mac developers. It has adjacent columns. I'm going to right click and add a new element, name and address, and we're going to pick the address type that we created in the design view. And it is, as you can see, it is very easy to create, you know, new elements and types in the, in the, in the schema view as well. This is the new element that we just created address. I'm going to scroll horizontally and show you the addresses type, which is address type. This is how it gets displayed in the column view. The schema view also has a breadcrumb trails. Breadcrumbs are navigation techniques used in user interfaces. Now I'm going to right click and say go to design. As you can see, the view changes and it, it takes you to the design view. You can right click on the design view and say go to source and it will take you to the source and it will also select the appropriate element. As you can see this navigation is a very nice technique used for navigating between views. Now we are going to talk about the find and find users feature. For this I have this loan application.xsd open and I am going to do a control F and find on address. As you can see the schema view is highlighted with all the addresses that are found in the schema. Now I'm going to show you the find usage feature. For this I have this car type. I'm going to right click and say find usage. So the find usage window appears. It has various views, collapse all nodes, show logical view, physical view, and the find usage graph. The graph actually is a nice view of the usage of that particular car type. It also has a layout graph that reorganizes items in the view. 
We are going to talk about a refactoring feature. For this we are going to use a car type, refactor rename. I am going to change it to my car type and say preview. As soon as you click preview, a preview window opens and you know I am going to expand the preview window. On the left hand side there is loan application.xsd and on the right hand side the refactor loan app. So it gives you a you know, very cool before and after image of the you know refactoring. So as you can see on the left there is car type and on the right there is my car type. It displays nicely. Now we are going to talk about the schema aware code completion feature that is available in the tool. So for this we have a po.xml file that conforms to a schema in terms of a you know schema location attribute it specifies the schema and if the tool can find the schema then it will provide you code completion real time. So at this point we have built two commands and stuff like that. And as soon as you come to the build tools uh, child elements it will show you all the child elements that are available at that particular context.